We are FBA! And we're here in Tallahassee today. Teachers, support staff, and higher ed professors from all over the state. We came here today to testify before our committee on two bills that look to take away the freedom of public workers in the state of Florida. Those bills, because we came, have been temporarily postponed. Now that's a good thing, but how good it is, we don't know yet, but we'll find out. So why don't we hear from some of the folks that are with us? And by the way, I'm Andrew Sparr, the president of the Florida Education Association. I'm Crystal Tessman. I teach fifth grade in Gainesville, Florida, and I'm here to make sure that we can protect our educators so we can take good care of our children. Teachers and staff have been working harder this year than any other year, and this is a time to support us and make sure that we are taken care of. My name is Amanda L. Shimmy. I'm a dance chorus and theater teacher at Ormond Beach Middle School and I am here because I want our students to have what they need and for our profession to be respected. My name is Jackie Dickey. I am a secretary in Pinellas County and I'm here on this day to say that, you know, to support the fact that we don't want, we want no on these bills to give us a right. I want to be that voice for those who don't have a voice, for those who feel that they don't have a voice. So I'm here in their honor to say, you know, let's do what we can to get them to understand that we want no on these bills. Hello, my name is Yolanda Turner. I'm an avid college and career educator in Hillsborough County, Florida. I chose this career so that I can advocate for my students I want their freedom to continue to do so. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Andrew Burke. I'm a middle school band director in St. John's County. I've always wanted to be a teacher, but it looks like less and less young people want, young people are going into the field less and less, and less people want to become teachers because our state is not investing in the people that do this profession. I want some of my students who love the classroom to go into teaching, and I just don't think that that's happening as much as it should. I'm here today because I think that the state of Florida needs to invest more in the people that give back to our state, of, to our state and to our kids. Thank you. Hi, my name is Helen Hamill. I'm from Marion County. I'm a magnet facilitator. I'm here to protect my freedom to choose. My freedom to choose how my payroll is managed and deducted. My freedom to choose how my retirement is funded and planned for. That's why I'm here today. My name is Mary Rivera. I'm a middle school intensive reading teacher from Marion County, Florida. I'm here to advocate for my fellow teachers and more importantly for my students because we have needs and the district, the state, is not meeting the needs of our students or our teachers. Hey, good morning, I'm Patrick Strong. I'm an ESE paraprofessional in Okaloosa County, a staunch Republican, conservative Republican. I, I want my legislators to know that the education profession is important. Um, I used to give advice to young, uh, young people that this is the best profession they could ever have. That's hard to do anymore. Uh, we want to be recognized and appreciated. Thank you. I'm Dr. Rosemary Morris. I'm also from Okaloosa County. I'm a multidisciplinary multi classroom teacher, and I'm here because I believe in the right of the people to petition their government, and folks, we got some grievances. I'm Kimberly James, Marion County, Florida School Counselor. I'm here today because our family back in Marion County are built on two things. We have a solid foundation in our faith, but more importantly, we have generations upon generations of educators in our family. So I'm here today to support that and to keep that going in not just in my family, but I also want to establish that and, and open it up to other families that support base for education. <clears throat> My
My name is Gregory McComb. I'm an associate professor of mathematics at the University of South Florida, and I'm here to defend the students, the faculty, the staff, and the mission of the university. Hi, my name is Judy Ying, and I am a science teacher at Lake Howell High School in Seminole County. And I want to talk to the constituents of these legislators and remind them what's going on here. The legislators with this bill are trying to take away the freedom of your children's teachers, bus drivers, custodians, cafeteria workers, paraprofessionals. They're trying to take away the freedom for me to be able to sit at the table with my employer and talk about my salary, my benefits, my working conditions. They're trying to take away the freedoms that I have to sit with my employer and talk about advocating for your children in my classroom. Hi, I'm Crystal Williams, a PhD candidate at Florida a &M University. I'm here on behalf of, thank you. I'm here on behalf of United Faculty of Florida. Um, I'm here on behalf of graduate assistants across the state of Florida to advocate for those who are not standing behind us, to let our constituents know our voices will be heard. As you can see, we're stronger together and higher educators and educators in the state of Florida. We matter. Good morning, I'm Karen Morian, President of the United Faculty of Florida. We represent the higher ed faculty and graduate assistants around the state of Florida. And I have to say, we have a long history in Florida of shared governance in our institutions of public higher ed. There is no reason for the legislature to be inserting themselves into that relationship and infringing on our members' rights to join a professional association to continue to be the voice for public higher ed and advocate for every student in Florida to have quality public higher education. Thank you. I am Selena Thompson Mas Garcia. I am support staff in Pinellas County. And my mission is to be here to advocate for our children as well as supporting us. My name is Kate Dowdy. I am a 21-year educator from St. John's County and my school's Teacher of the Year last year. Because I'm a teacher, I did a little research. And I found that the Republican Party of Florida will promote the principles upon which our nation and our state were founded. And those are freedom, liberty, personal responsibility, and accountability. Senate Bill 1014 goes against every one of those principles. And I'm sorry, I'm going to have to flunk you. My name is Eric Rodriguez, and I teach in Suwannee County, Florida. And I'm here today to just stop the attacks on the teaching profession that seem to persist year after year. Hello, I'm David Ellsbeck from Escambia County, Florida. I'm the president of the union of Escambia County staff professionals. I stand in support with our educators and our teachers to support that this bill, SB, what is it, 70, 78. 78, is bad for public school unions. We need to put a stop to this and support our teachers. Thank you. <clears throat> I am Peggy Sue Sternad from Gilchrist County. I work with Varian Exceptionality Classroom, which if you don't know, that's the ESE children. I am here because I am sick and tired of the lawmakers taking our voice. It's time for them to step back and let the teachers be heard and to be heard for our children.
Hello, my name is Kim Andrews. I represent Escambia County Ed Support Personnel. I am here to say that legislatures, even though you may not remember your childhood education, you were once a student as well. And I do believe that you went through some type of um, college degree and therefore in a public institution. So on behalf of all public education and support personnel as well as teachers, I ask that you recall your education career, whether it was young or old, you have been through some educational support system. So we ask that you remember it and reflect back and help us to continue to support and teach as well as live and help us do for these young students. Help us because you were once a student yourself. Carol Cleaver, a science teacher from Escambia County. And I came to Tallahassee today because I really am very much struggling. I don't understand why the legislators are putting forward bills that attack my freedom uh, to be part of a professional organization or the freedom to choose how my retirement is funded, like I've had in the past. I don't know why my freedoms are being attacked in a year where myself and my colleagues have sacrificed so much to keep schools running during a time where we have suffered so much sickness and trauma, and the kids have too. And this is a year to be supporting schools and the people that work there, and I'm struggling with why we're not being supported. Thank you. My name is Darzell Warren. I formerly taught second grade for about 18 years. I am now president of the Escambia Education Association. Our lawmakers made the decision for us to return to school in August and our teachers, our support staff, our children, we all came. We did what we were supposed to do. Our members, when they join, they know exactly what they are doing. They know that they have the right to join freely. They know they have the right to choose to leave if they choose to. We need our lawmakers now to not get into letting, to having them make decisions that our employees, our members are making for themselves. So we just need our lawmakers to just step out of something that they have no business stepping into. I'm Charlotte Kearney. I'm from Gilchrist County. I'm a kindergarten teacher. I have been in the profession for over 37 years, and I have been a union member the entire time that I've been there. And I do not support either one of those bills because I want to be that voice. And I don't want anybody to control me and tell me that, that I have to join every year. But once I join, I should be a member till I leave the profession. I am Nandi Riley, an English <laughs> academic professor from Florida A&M, and I now serve as the Secretary Treasurer of the Florida Education Association. I am here because I support public education. I am here with my colleagues from every walk of life in the education field. We have support staff, we have teachers, we have higher ed. We are here because we deserve to have our voice heard. Good morning, my name is Carol Goronskis. I am an educator in an ESE uh, classroom, a paraprofessional for over 20 years. I am the current elected vice president of the Florida Education Association, and I stand in front of heroes and sheroes of this academic year. For every year, these folks have taught children, they have advocated for children. We're here to advocate not only for the children in our classrooms today, but those that will be there tomorrow and next year and beyond. We're here to advocate so that they have a retirement, that they can go home and they can do what they need to do in their classrooms. So we're gonna ask that you email, you text, you call your legislators in your area. Let them know, that vote no on 1014 and vote no on Senate Bill 78. Their lives and our children's lives really do depend on what you do in Tallahassee. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Hey, hey, hey. Ready? One, two, three. 
two, three. Solidarity!